Welcome back. We are here on ETH looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 16, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we're looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we did rally in the weekend, and then we broke down really aggressively here on the Monday session. We went all the way down to uh, uh, 45 or 46 a thousand and then we rallied so the cryptocurrency market is well i'm not a fan of the cryptocurrency market to be fair to honest i have i do own some cryptocurrency but 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 uh it's more a very small position and kind of because they're they're growing so rapidly that I've bought them. but these numbers just don't add up so i do believe that when we get close to 50,000, there should be quite a lot of people that basically start selling here. We get very close to that, to the number. Also, if you you normally look at um, at RSI numbers, for example, at here, we are at 71. Usually these cryptocurrencies get to 95 and so on. And that usually if that was a stock, it would be selling off like 25 to 30% and, and so on. But yes, um, Yes, people are just flooding money into this market, and they're not flooding money into gold, which they usually do in in these times. But they are flooding their money into basically cryptocurrencies. So, but I think there is it's going to take some time before we get through fifty thousand. Uh, it did not take long in order to get through 40,000, 40, but fifty thousand that I think will be a very big grind. We will most likely see this go sideways, probably go down towards. Uh, 20 exponential or the 50 moving average at some point um, but it's going to be interesting whether or not we break 50,000 it will go um, astronomically high probably if we break 50,000 at some point uh, if, if early so but pullbacks towards the 20 exponential that is has proven to be resistant you can see often how often we basically bounced off the 20 exponential and the 50 also, when we get close to 50, we see these massive rallies to the upside because people are buying into this market. At the moment, we are very overstretched. We are significantly overbought. And these technical indicators are not looking very bullish at this point. So Stochastic is flat. CCI is bearish at this point or needs basically one point in order to become bearish. But it's showing signs of weakness. And the MACD is also rounding off here. So we may see this grind towards the 20 exponential and then go higher or probably towards the 50 and then go towards uh, the 50 moving average and then go to 50,000. So let's look at ETHRO. So you can all see how aggressively people started buying here. We fell roughly, I think it was 10, 10%. We fell from these highs of 1850 all the way down to 1652 um, and then bounced completely. Uh, so we're on the edge of being overbought. Technical ind indicators otherwise are rounding off. They are still bullish, but they're not, um, not parabolical as they have been, for example, here and also here. They are rounding off and there we may see the MACD cross the signal line and get something similar to this. And that means that we'll go sideways for a time before we take off uh, to probably 2000. That is most likely our next target is right here. So we may go sideways and then go to 2000. Very similar to what we saw here. We get into the corner of the 20 exponential and then it goes higher. So if you look at the weekly chart for Ethereum, you can just see how parabolical this is. This is typical of a bubble. So everybody's talking about bubbles. Yes, I will basically say most of these uh, cryptocurrencies are at the moment a bubble and they could basically uh, basically burst at any point. As we saw back in 2017, it rallied up towards um, 1400 and then fell all the way down, basically down here as to 82 from 1800 to 82. 
and this is only in one year. So yes, it can lose all its value really, really fast. And that's why everybody should take care when trading these cryptocurrencies. So let's look at uh, ADA. So also here, we had an absolutely astronomical rise to the upside, and then we broke down <laughs> very aggressively. It lost, I don't know, it was about 20% of this value within uh, a few hours, and then it rallied again, and now we're in the green. At the moment, I think that we're going to see this grind slowly towards uh, roughly 0 0.75 before we go higher from here, if we go higher from here. So we are still at 82 in the RSI. That is very, very high. We can look at the Bollinger Band, for example, also to see whether or not we are overstretched. We were significantly outside here. We are inside now. We can look at the weekly chart and see that we're still significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. We're at 92 in the RSI. So this could lose half its value. Well, probably it could. Um, uh, Bitcoin lost half of its value in one week back in 2017 when it was in a very similar situation. So, but this is the same thing for all of the cryptocurrencies, mostly all of them. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, we could fall to 0 0.6061, to 50, and then to uh, 38. So if we draw from here, we most likely will find a lot of support down here, and then it will rally, and then we, it will drop. But it is expected for most of these cryptocurrencies to continue rallying in 2021. That is what most of the experts in, in the cryptocurrency world are, are saying. Uh, when I look at these things, it's uh, it just looks like this could basically drop at any point. And these moves here, yes, it can become really, really ugly very, very fast. And that's why you should always have taken little stop losses if you um, trade these cryptocurrencies. So let's look at Litcoin. It has also been very parabolic. Um, the movement here was a massive move to the upside of it from roughly down here from $41 all the way up towards uh, $184. Then it dropped, lost around 25 to 30% of its value in one day, rallied again, dropped down, and then it rallied significantly. And when we basically broke 200, it went absolutely bananas in this. Uh, this was basically on Friday. So we dropped significantly here down to the previous highs. That's what basically where we found resistance. So the previous highs in this, um, in this rally was supportive. So I think that we're going to see more downside in the coming days. We can see that we're still at 71 here in the RSI. Um, Technical indicators are slowly turning around for this cryptocurrency. So I would, we'll probably see something similar to this, where we grind down towards the 20 exponential, probably the 50 moving average before going higher. So we have broken 200. There is still a lot of, a long way to go before we go to the all-time highs, which is at 374. So we have broken these highs, we have also broken these highs, and we're basically testing these previous highs. So when we get through to uh, 250, we probably go for a run towards these previous highs here. But it is a grind to the upside. This was an absolutely parabolical move for all cryptocurrencies back in 2017, and then they collapsed. So we are not seeing similar moves this one is uh, fairly similar to that one but if it starts behaving like this if it starts going from roughly 134 uh, to to uh, 350 that's a massive warning sign that that people should look after you can look at the bullinger band for example how far outside in the weekly chart we were here in 2017 we are similar here, but not even close to what we saw back in 2017. So, yes, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential 
that is where acting as support. You can see it here, it bounces off 20 exponential. It also bounces off the 50 moving average and of course also the bottom of the bullion run. The distance between the bottom of the bullion run is significant at the moment and mainly due to this massive volatility that we're witnessing. So let's look at uh, NEO. So similar here, we have this parabolical move. We are outside of the Bollinger Band for so around seven days, six, seven days. And then we basically break all the way down to 36. I thought it was going to go much lower than this. I thought we were going all the way down to the 20 exponential, but we'll probably see the similar grind to the lower, uh, lower levels before going higher. So this has also a long way to go in order to catch up to its previous highs here. So the previous, the very highs here back in 2017 or 18 was 143 and we were only at 33. So a hundred more, hundred dollars to go in order to get to these highs. If we get there, maybe it depends on how long this cryptocurrency rally uh, continues. It, um, at the moment, I've, uh, it is really, really hard to say. It's almost impossible, basically, to say. But I would, I would look at if we see weekly charts uh, where we go absolutely parabolical outside of the Bollinger Band. That's a massive warning sign. Even all of these um, RSI numbers here above 70s are all warning signs. Also, when you trade outside of the Bollinger Band, it's also a massive warning sign. So it could have happened here, 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 but it happened on this day where we broke down. Well, uh, yes, this is roughly not nearly um, from roughly we fell from uh, 46 to 47 all the way down to uh, 36. So, yes, that's a huge, huge fall. But at the moment, 20 exponential is working as support. We are very far away from the 20 exponential. The 50 is also it's not as supportive. It's basically the 50, uh, 20 exponential that it has bounced off in recent uh, months. So let's look at uh, Tron. So it absolutely fell off a cliff. Um, so we saw this massive move here. I think it was the game stops the or the games got uh, the red the Reddit guys that were basically buying this. That's why we had this amazing massive hike here, and then it fell. Then we went on this parabolical move to the upside. It went all the way from 0 .0, 0 0.03 to 0 0.06, give or take. And then it dropped all the way down to 0 0.045. So a massive down, drop to the downside. We're still on the edge of being overbought. Technically, the gears are turning around, but uh, 20 exponential should be supportive. And the 50 is it should definitely be supportive and of course if we get if we get to the bottom of the bullish band that should be also very supportive but at the moment i think what we're going to see for most of the cryptocurrencies or the market is a grind towards the 20 exponential moving average that looks like a very similar pattern for most of these most of this market so hope you find it helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us our patreon good luck and thank you very much Thank you.